I'm Chevy, and today let's discuss motorcycle meditation. Hello friends, welcome to the shed. Friday is here, long weekend for most, but of course I will be back on your screens on Monday because I'm not taking a day off for the holidays. Today, uh, motorcycle meditation is maybe, maybe it's a term that exists or maybe it's a term I just came up with, I don't know, but as I was riding home, I realized that I am a completely different person when I get to ride my motorcycle home than when I drive my truck. When, where I work, I'm about 25 minutes from my house, give or take, depending on traffic. If I take the long way home, which I usually do when I ride, it's about 35 minutes. And there's a huge difference between the days that I drive my truck and the days that I take the bike. Like mentally, when I get home and I get off the motorcycle and I hear in the moment, I'm much more calm. And I think it's meditative. Like, you know how when you're driving a car, I'm, I, I don't want to say that like, this is normal and yay, we should all do this, but I'm sure it's happened to most people. You're driving the car on a normally taken route and you get to your destination and you don't remember driving there. First of all, I hate it when that happens because that's like, what just happened? Could I have hurt somebody that I didn't notice? You know, that sort of thing. But it's, it's one of those, it's like any repetitive task, you, your brain just has the ability to just do it without your needed attention. And so a lot of the times when you're driving, you're listening to songs and singing or talking to a passenger or on the phone, hopefully hands-free. It's illegal here in West Virginia to be on your handset. Handset, remember when they used to do that? Um, but on the bike, you can't do that. Riding a motorcycle takes 100% of your concentration. If you don't give it 100% of your concentration, you are very likely to one day end up injured on your motorcycle. I only ride when I'm capable of giving 100% of my attention, which means no alcohol of any kind in my system, no sleep deprivation, no um, you know, high stress where I can't get thoughts out of my head. Any of those situations occur, I don't ride. I only ride when I'm fully mentally capable of being safe. Now, I'm not one of those riders that I put like layers upon layers of Kevlar and padding. I don't do any of that. I wear a short sleeve shirt and a vest, uh, you know, I have blue jeans. If I wreck, I'm going to lose skin. I'm, I accept that. I do wear a helmet, obviously. Um, but I also am a very cautious rider. I give 100% of my attention. And that 30 minutes of the day where I am so focused on a task that the rest of the world doesn't exist, except for the bubble around my motorcycle. That's like apparently extremely meditative for me, which is probably the opposite of what meditation is supposed to be. Isn't med meditation supposed to be calming and, and nothingness, I think, or reflection? Whereas on the motorcycle, it is, I, I have to put myself aside and just focus on that bike for a half an hour. And man, when I get off, it's just like, yeah. You know, I remember every lean and every turn and every rock that I had to avoid. But when I'm in the truck and I take a 30 minute ride, I hate it. There's something magical about doing a potentially dangerous task that requires so much of your attention that it is relaxing in a weird way. <laughs> I used to do whitewater kayaking, very similar situation. Whitewater kayaking, was before I was on the current medication that I'm on, and it was the only time my brain shut up. Like I didn't listen to a thousand thoughts going at a time. When I was in a kayak and I was going down white water or jumping a, a waterfall, my brain was just silent. It was just completely focused in the moment. And that's how I feel on the motorcycle. And that half hour a day of that is like so refreshing. It's better than an app. 
yeah. So I rode today, if you hadn't noticed, and I rode yesterday, I drove the truck on Wednesday because I had to pick some stuff up, and Wednesday was a bummer day for me. I got home and like did the thing, and then I just kind of sat in my bed like a lame -o. Strange how it works. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk to you about that. I, I think there's like two people, two, you know, the two types of people in the world, those who motorcycle and those who don't get it. And I wish that I could share that experience with everybody. Maybe not on a motorcycle, but that same elevated awareness capacity that I get from my motorcycle, share that part. Because that part is extremely rewarding for everybody. Maybe, maybe some people don't enjoy... Uh, the wind in their face or don't enjoy uh, the way they ride a bike that's fine that uh, something that I just I was I went five years without a motorcycle and I'll never do that again <laughs> I, I have no desire to be without a motorcycle ever again in my life uh, that being said it's Friday typically we do by day here I answers you ask questions, I answer them, you send me mail, all that stuff. Didn't do it this week. I didn't prompt you for questions this week um, just because I wanted to see what would happen. So, And guess what? You asked a few questions that you want me to cover as topics on shows, but nothing for a Friday. So I'm going to keep prompting you from now on every day, ask me a question for Friday, blah, blah, blah. I want to keep that ball rolling. Don't forget to send me stuff. We have this big blank canvas behind me. And this whole wall, it, it actually extends, this is like a 10-foot wall, is yours. And if the, if the wall grows beyond the frame of the bandsaw, I will adjust the framing of the show so that we can display all of whatever the heck it is you want to put back there. Don't forget, you can send me anything, advertisements for your business, um, stickers, whatever. It doesn't have to cost you anything except for the price of a stamp, right? I'm not asking you to send me precious artwork to hang up, just whatever. Um, and if you just send me a letter, just say hi and, and let me know what the show means to you, I'll send you a postcard back. And these are limited edition. They're special. I got so many amazing compliments at Origins that I was not aware people that sought me out to say thank you who I had not met before. So much of that was amazing and extremely positive. I would love to hear from you more often, so send me a letter. It's like, I think, currently 42 cents. They actually lowered the price of sending a letter recently. It was 47. I think it's like 45 now or 42 cents. And then I'll send you a postcard. Or send me a postcard. These are... 19 cents to send a postcard or something like that. No, 30 something. Whatever. It, just send me a letter. The details are below in the contact information or in the description. You can also reach me at thedailyshed.com forward slash contact. My address is there. I do not put the address in the description of the videos. Maybe I should. Maybe I would get, uh, maybe it's easy. If I make it easier for you, then maybe you'll send me a letter. I don't know. But, um, so expect me to harass you next month or next week about asking questions for this week. Oh, guess what? This is episode 75. That's a big deal. I want to do something for episode 100. So let's start thinking about that together. Leave me some comments about what I can do. Maybe I light 100 sparklers or blow out 100 candles or eat 100 hot dogs. No, I'm not doing that. Do not suggest that. Um, but I want to do something special for a hundred because for me, that is a big deal. Uh, maybe it's not for you, but the fact that I've sat down and done this for this long is a huge deal for me personally. So thank you for being here. Thanks for coming along on this adventure with me. I will let you know that I am looking into skateboarding. That's probably going to happen soon. And I will record the adventures for you so that we can all laugh at me. I'm not afraid. Uh, have a good weekend. Have a good 4th of July if you don't watch on Monday. If you do watch on Monday, I'm probably going to do something. I don't know yet. I have some ideas. And I might have a build video this weekend. Maybe. We'll see. Thanks for stopping by, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from history.com. Which is the smallest country in the world? Based on landmass, Vatican City is the smallest country in the world, measuring just 0.2 square miles, almost 100 times smaller than the island of Manhattan. Wow. 
Situated on the western bank of the Tiber River, Vatican City's two-mile border is landlocked by Italy. A lot of people didn't know that Vatican City is a sovereign nation. That's, uh, that's a tiny nation. I wonder how many people live there. Probably could have clicked. Thank <laughs> you.